In our year two update, we showed that severe drought during the previous two years had dropped the level of the pond by several feet. There hadn't been enough moisture for 18 months going into the second winter. The pond evaporated more water during the severe heat than could be replaced by springs. The springs that fed the pond had their volume of water reduced when the aquifer that feeds the springs was not kept full due to drought. The trout seemed to be doing well, but there was concern about what might happen during the winter. Would the fish become too crowded? Would there be enough oxygen for the fish? We did some ice fishing throughout the winter, resulting in no catches, not even a bite. Several weeks of temperatures to 40 below zero made the ice depth 30 inches. In April, the pond finally filled for the first time in 18 months. Multiple attempts to catch the fish using their favorite lures resulted in no hits or catches. We decided to restock the pond. We purchased 150 Kamloops strain rainbows in May. The fish averaged four inches long and weighed an ounce or two. We stocked the fish the third week in May when there are massive fly hatches. Although the primary food in our ponds is freshwater shrimp, when the trout are this small, we wanted to make sure there were billions of nymphs and flies for the fingerlings to gorge on and get a great start on growth. In July, after 60 days in the pond, I decided to check and see if the new fish were big enough to be hooked by a spinner. The fish were big enough and were already eight to nine inches long, weighing six to eight ounces. Two months earlier, they were the size of one of your fingers. After catching several fish, I was stunned to hook this large trout. I quickly pulled out my cell phone to record the end of the fight, and it was a 21-inch, 3.6-pound, two-year-old Kamloops rainbow. Okay, I'm going to start off today with this Panther Martin, and the treble hooks were sw switched out with uh, for a single hook. These trout tend to inhale uh, whatever is thrown their way, so uh, to keep from damaging them, we're, we're going to single hooks on our spinners. In September, after 100 days in the pond, I returned to check on the fish again. Here we go. This is one of the Kamloops rainbows stocked this spring when it was four inches. So this fish is 100, 100 days in the pond. Beautiful fish. It's about 10 inches long, 10 or 11, and over half a pound. There we go. Come on, buddy. Beautiful colored fish. There are some steelhead strain rainbows in here that are three years old, but they would be in that three pound range by now. So they also have a lot more darker spots on their backs. And these camloops, camloops are, are more green and the steelhead will be more of a blue back. Now one more cast. I wanted to check the fish once more before the pond froze over. In October, I was impressed with the girth the fish put on over the summer. There we go. Last cast. The lucky one. Just me in the weeds. I thought you got me off. <sighs> Oh, 
Ah, oh, you've grown well, buddy. Nice. Just like your sisters. Nice and broad across the shoulders. Three months. Four inches to this. At Christmas, the grandkids visited, and the last check of the year on the trout was made. So far, there's no indication that more than one fish from the original stocking has survived to this point. I can only imagine what it would have been like to have yeah, a pond full of four to five pound trout by now. Nice one. Look how fat and pretty it is. Boy, that's a good one. Can I release this one back? Yeah. Be sure to check for the four-year update next year by subscribing to the Wildlife Channel and turning on notifications. Links to the previous updates and the building of the pond are in the description below.